الصوص الثاني Right, so if you have read and understood, considering eight clinical examination, kindly please okay. begin. All right, I will knock the door. Yes. Uh, wash my hands and confirm my ID. Yes. Uh, yeah. Now I'm going to introduce myself to the pa to the patient first. Uh, yes. Hi, this is a uh, hi. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, this is Doctor Malik from the surgical unit. Uh, may I confirm your name? And age, Smith, please? 56 years old. Okay. Hi, Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith, I believe that you have uh, some problem uh, with your tummy today. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, I'm about to examine your tummy to find out what, what has been done. Is that all right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are you in any pain at the moment? Yes. Uh, where, where about exactly? Yes, here. Cent okay. In the center where I was operated. I'm so sorry for that. Do you want me to offer some painkillers? No, that's okay. I've taken okay. them already. It seems to be gentle with you. And uh, if I caused you any discomfort, please let me know first. Okay. okay? Right. Okay. So I will start examining my patient uh, uh, from looking from the uh, end of the bed, looking at the patient, tummy, after, exp uh, after exposing his tummy and his chest as well, which keeping his dignity. Uh, I can see now... Uh, there is no uh, abnormality, no swelling, no dilated veins, no ecchymosis or any signs uh, in the uh, abdominal skin. Abdominal is uh, moved with respiration. Can you please cough for me, please? <coughs> oh, I can see that it's causing you pain. Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I will now uh, uh, talk to my examiner and say uh, my patient is... Uh, is Critically unwell. I would like to uh, manage not him. No, no, no. You'll do the inspection and then mm -hmm. even the superficial palpation. After that, that's when you'll realize. Uh, but sometimes they say that the you have to show the situational awareness about the problem. Uh, As that I... you'll do. Okay, uh, after uh, touching the patient lightly. Yes, lightly. Okay, no, no problem. Palpation, yes. Okay, so I'm starting now, Mr. G uh, Mr. Um, Smith. I'm starting to uh, yeah to uh, gently feel your tummy. Okay, I believe that you have the pain on the other side. I will start with the right side here. Okay. So now I'm doing my superficial uh, palpation. Yeah, I can see the patient in severe pain. Yes. Right now. Yeah. So uh, if you allow me, I would uh, manage my patient according to the uh, care of the, of the yes. critically yes. Yes. surgical. Yes. Patient. Yes. Okay. And in advance, I would like my assistant or my nurse to prepare the drug chart and operative note and fluid chart for me. And if I find uh, my patient is unstable, I would like to make a crash call. First, uh, first of all, I will start by um, uh, checking on the airway. The airways uh, seems to be patent. Patient is communicating. So now I'm I'm jumping on the breathing. Please, uh, I will ask my my nurse or my assistant to attach a pulse oximeter. And uh, okay. I will check on the respiratory rate, okay, and the chest movement, okay. Okay. Now, um, how is the pulse oximeter for me, please? Okay, continue. Okay, okay. Because uh, <clears throat> if it is less than ninety-four, I will commence oxygen. That's what I meant by the pulse okay. oximeter. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So after that, yeah. Um. Now, Mr. Mr. Smith, I'm going to, uh, yes, I'm going to gently palpate your windpipe just to make sure that 
I your trachea in the central, your wing pipe in the central. Okay, now I'm checking the trachea. Trachea is central in position. Can you please uh, look back to your, to your uh, right or left shoulder? I can see there is no uh, dilated neck veins. And now I'm, I'm checking the chest movement. Can you take a deep breath for me, please? Chest moves uh, equally. Now I'm going to tap over your chest. I tap six areas. There is um, nothing can nothing normal can be elicited here. Now I'm, I will be uh, uh, telling my sister to attach uh, a, a cardiac monitoring three lead ECG and uh, do an APG and chest X-ray for the patient. Now I will move to the circulation. I would like to check the uh, the pulse and blood pressure. Ideally, uh, pulse rate ideally for one minute and blood pressure. Okay. And assuming that it is in normal range, I will uh, introduce two large bore cannulae and check for the capillary refill withdrawal blood uh, for blood, uh, full blood count, liver function test, urea function test, uh, creatinine and inflammatory marks. Okay, clotting factor. Okay, and cross matching just in case. Okay, I will uh, commence uh, uh, fluid bullets for my patient. All right, after that. I will uh, ask uh, if there is any uh, results coming from my, my initial assessment. Uh, if yeah. there is no result, I will continue my assessment. I will check now for the uh, disability. Uh, I can see his consciousness is fine. I would, I would like to shed. Uh, Mr. Smith, I will be check, uh, putting this light into your eyes, okay, to check uh, your, your pupil size, okay? Don't look at the eye by itself. Okay, I will share, I will uh, swing the eye in and out the pupil on the both sides. Pupil are reactive. Okay, and um, right. patient. Hey, can you please summarize mm -hmm. your examination? Yeah, I've been called here to uh, examine this uh, critically unwell patient, which is complaining of uh, severe abdominal pain. Uh, in general, on general examination, there is no abnormality detected, except there is a uh, uh, lower uh, left side abdominal incision covered by uh, covered by uh, a gauze and a tease of dressing. Uh, on further management, I turned uh, my examination into ABC into critically ill surgical patient protocol, and I find the patient uh, is hypotensive and uh, okay. In uh, uh, there is no uh, uh, patient is hypotensive. I've uh, commenced him on fluid and uh, oh, and withdraw some blood fluids, uh, sorry, some blood investigations. And uh, um, now I'm uh, on disability okay. conscious, yeah. All right, can you please tell me how would you manage this patient? Uh, this patient is uh, clearly uh, uh, developing a, uh, a complication okay, from his previous surgery, which is most likely is anatomic, uh, anatomic leak. So okay, I would like cool. to yeah, initiate the sepsis sex here. Okay, I already give my patient oxygen and fluids and withdraw yes. like that through the ABE. Yes. And I will, uh, yes, I will prefer to give him uh, piperacillin or according to the uh, local hospital policy. Yes. Okay, antibiotic. Yes. And I would, yeah, I would like to insert a uh, urinary catheter. Yes. Okay. By what this else idea, would you do? Okay, uh, I would like first of all to escalate my yeah, to escalate my uh, care for further level. I would like to uh, uh, contact my surgeon and my senior surgeon and contact the IC, uh, uh, ICU registrar or ICU personnel. HDU, yes. Yeah, HDU or ICU, okay. And I would like, uh, yeah, I would like to arrange for uh, a CT scan with contrast. Yes, and? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yes. prepare Anything? the patient for the, for the theater. Yes, and mm -hmm. you'll insert a central line, maintain the fluid, like you told, and maybe you'll give uh, antibiotics, IV antibiotics, according to the trust guidelines. Yeah. You can maybe even give, uh, or maybe you can arrange ABGs and urea creatinine. I know, yeah. And electrolytes. Good. And you're already giving... Um, 
Oxygen fluids and withdrawal EPGs and earlier the urea electrolytes. And maybe, uh, yes, you will keep the patient nil by mouth and you will maybe insert the suction NG towards suction. For bowel rest. Yes, and a urinary catheter for bowel, bowel. A urinary yeah. management. Uh, so, but the, the only problem here, one, uh, one we, problem. We are confused about, and, and I'm willing from the whole world to just justify that for me. When I get in the the CRISP protocol, is it the CRISP protocol? Is assessing of a critical ill surgical yes. patient. How would okay. you determine? In the oh, exam? Either from the scenario outside, I should show the situational awareness of the condition, or should I first uh, 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 spend two or three minutes in the beginning, okay, and after that elicit it, my 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 uh, my uh, my further care, or what shall I do? Because ideally, the CRISP protocol must be done in ten to fifteen minutes. Ideally, in the hospital, okay. And they asked me here to do it in six minutes, and it is unbelievable to be done in six minutes. Either yes. either you need something, or you are confused about something, or you are mixing the stuff. Right. Yes. So You're what do right. you think? Then? So yeah. my advice would be that in outside, the most mm -hmm. uh, the catchy point that you have to catch is the patient is post-operative patient, right? Mm -hmm. And six mm -hmm. day and hemicolectomy. So that mm -hmm. that you already know that patient is a post-operative case, okay. right? But mm -hmm. uh, the question that you they'll put, they'll not say that you have to do the crisp examination. Instead, they'll say that you have to do the abdominal examination, clinical examination of the abdomen of mm -hmm. a post-operative patient. Here, patient is post-operative, so you know it's a crisp protocol. But yeah. once you'll enter, you'll uh, patient will be because it's a hospitalized patient, so you're not going to confirm or ask about the name of the patient. Maybe patient will be in agony, will not even respond. So, uh, you'll confirm the name or the identity of the identity of the patient from looking at the arm. They'll yeah. be banned. So you'll mm. say, okay, this is Smith, Mr. Smith, fifty-seven years old, etc., mm. or fifty-six, okay. right? And all then right. they'll say, uh, all right, I've been asked to examine you as you've been complaining about the abdominal pain. So is that all right? Patient maybe will note or maybe say yes. Depends, mm. right? Mm. Okay. Uh, or may not even uh, respond, just has a frozen face and just be looking at you. And then okay. you'll ex expose the patient accordingly for the mm. abdominal uh, examination. And then okay. you'll begin with your inspection. If sometimes people say that, okay, we'll be reading out to ourselves that, okay, now I'm going to do the inspection. I'm exposing you. I'll be exposing you from here to here. I mm. hope that's fine with you. You take the verbal consent and then mm. you expose. And then you begin with the inspection. You've mm. done the inspection. Then you begin with the superficial palpation or percussion. Or, but when, as soon as you've done the superficial palpation, Begin with the right inguinal fossa. As soon as you'll press your hand, uh, patient will scream or patient will, okay. don't make patient scream, but as soon as patient will <laughs> show the face, okay. the patient is in pain, stop yeah. immediately and say, yes, I cannot continue further my in abdominal examination as patient seems to be in pain and I don't mm. want to elicit pain to the patient. So mm. I will convert my examination into CRIS protocol. Then you'll begin the CRISP protocol by looking at the, okay, the mouth airways open. Then you look at the cent no central sinuses, trachea central, chest wall is equally move moving bilaterally. So, and then you'll even do the percussion that you missed today. So you'll do the percussion note bilaterally mm -hmm. and that, need that needs to be normal, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you'll even listen to the sounds respiratory mm. sounds from the front only okay in abdomen then even mm. you look at the anterior and the lateral respiratory walls or chest walls you listen mm. to those as well then you also have to look at the circulation so there are no signs of dehydration there are no uh, congestion of the neck veins heart sounds you listen heart examination you can also do it will be normal then you'll realize that patient is alert then you'll even look for the 
uh, TED stalking because patient's wound will be there. So you'll say, I have to look at the wound. I have to examine the wound. That also you miss. The examiner will say, consider. So you leave. Okay. And then you'll only comment on the dressing, how it was. When you'll be summarizing your clinical examination, then you'll say, okay, dressing was intact. It was not soaked. Uh, I did not remove the dressing because of the sake of uh, contamination of the wound or etc. whatever you can say. So there'll be no swelling on the legs. You can check or examine the calves. Mm -hmm. Because patient will be wearing tight stockings, you, you cannot. Uh, okay, uh, I appreciate patient. that in entire uh, yeah. But I have, and I have here something. Pulse yeah? and blood pressure, it all uh, will be given in the chart. So you would, yeah. not, would not have to take that. So this okay. will save you some time. One yeah. Of so uh, in, in the, uh, in the CRISP protocol, the CRISP protocol itself, okay, yes. the diagram, you have to do the initial management, which is A, B, C, D. And then you have to do full patient assessment, including yes. the heart, yes. including the wound, Okay, assessment yes. including the lower limbs. Yes, but you cannot because patient will be wearing TED stocking. So you know that, okay, this is an osteomotic leak patient because the other CRISP protocol patient will not mm -hmm. be wearing TED stocking. That will be pulmonary embolism case and will have mask on, oxygen mask mm -hmm. on. Okay. Yeah, good. Okay. Thank you.